This demonstration will include the application setup or bucking in process for straightness as well as the straightness application itself. Bucking in is the process that adjusts the laser beam so it runs parallel to the surface being measured. In this case, a rail and the tabletop. The system we will be using is the MicroGauge Pro. Here we have the laser transmitter mounted on our 4-axis precision mount. Our 2D or 2-axis receiver mounted on our standard adjustable mount. And our Pro Smart System Display. For this demonstration we have set the laser on the surface that we're measuring. For many applications you will want to utilize our Tri-Line tripod mount and have it off the surface that you're measuring. For the purpose of this demonstration the rail is short. In most applications you'll want to be at least two feet away and our Pro system and 2D system are functional up to 150 feet. Our first step will be selecting and measuring two points on the rail. The closest point to the laser will be reading 1 and the farthest point will be reading 2. For this demonstration we have already selected those positions. In this case reading number 1 will be at 12 inches and reading 2 will be 36 inches. Here we will activate the laser and the display and begin the bucking in process. We want to select apps from the touch screen and then bucking in. Here we'll set distance 1 and apply. Now save reading 1. We'll move the receiver and now we'll set distance 2 at 36 inches and apply and save the reading. Now you'll see on the result line at the right the readings that we want to get each location set at which will establish the straight line. Now we'll go back to measurements and we will utilize the four axis precision mount to adjust each location to the suggested reading. Now we'll go back to position number one and do the same thing. Now that that's complete, we can repeat the process and then fine tune it to get to zero. For this demonstration, the second procedure has already been accomplished, which is why we have the reading so very close. We will go ahead and zero out each location and then we'll be ready to evaluate our straightness. We've set distance or reading number one at zero. We'll slide the receiver back to distance or reading number two. And we'll adjust that to zero also. Now that we have both, both positions at as close to zero, we're ready to evaluate the straightness of the rail. You should be able to see minor changes as we slide the receiver down the rail and these should show you the places where it may be possible to make adjustments to create a perfectly straight rail. That is the bucking in process as well as the straightness application. I hope this uh, demonstration has been helpful and contact us with any questions or concerns.